What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andy and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baba Stock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, can't live it up. And in today's uh, video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what uh, news uh, might be a catalyst for this asset for upcoming week and uh, what uh, potential news uh, might be the catalyst for entire Chinese uh, market and uh, how we can benefit uh, from this news. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, uh, when this asset uh, hit uh, the range of about uh, $79.5 mark, and my main assumption was that uh, we should see some kind of bounce to the upside. And I drew these lines in order to show you the potential path of uh, this movement. And uh, as you can see, so far it acts exactly as I predicted. And uh, on top of that, uh, in my previous video, I've told you that we shouldn't break uh, the bottom of uh, its win low that was set uh, back in uh, May of uh, this year. And it is the range of about uh, $78 mark. And we didn't break it and we have uh, this uh, quite decent reaction. Definitely, I don't uh, see the volume that uh, might be sufficient for the confirmation of uh, the next potential leg to the upside. But uh, in everything I will show you in just several minutes in my technical analysis. And for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. If we take a look uh, in the search results uh, regarding Baba stock in Google, uh, uh, in Google, definitely you will not find a lot of news so far, a lot of recent news that uh, might be the catalyst for this asset. One of them is this one. It was published uh, by Forbes uh, just three days ago and it's titled Asia holds investment potential despite tensions, slowing China growth, Alibaba chairman Joe Tsai. And uh, let me quote you this. Slower economic growth in China and uh, heightened uh, worldwide concerns about security shouldn't lead investors to overlook uh, the potential of the Asia region. Alibaba chairman Joe Tsai said in discussion organized by the Asia Society in New York th on Thursday. Asia is a big place. As I said in the vast variety content, but I think a lot of uh, the cultures in Asia are quite similar in that people are industrious and uh, these economies have provided very high levels of education to the population. He continued, the question you should ask investors is, do you want to, be, to bet against people in Asia? And I have to say that this entire article uh, shows the opinion of uh, Joe Tsai, uh, the CEO of uh, Alibaba, regarding the entire situation in China. And he didn't say much about uh, the Baba's potential. And that is why we have uh, to be very cautious uh, with this news. Let me show you some details from institutional investors list. We still don't have uh, any significant signs uh, from uh, this uh, data. Uh, we have uh, a lot of mixed filings. Some companies uh, uh, increased their position, some companies reduced their positions, uh, some of them basically uh, stay neutral and uh, this uh, information cannot help us uh, to make any conclusions regarding the sentiment uh, on BABA stock. If we take a look uh, on the list uh, of forecasts uh, regarding uh, BABA stock, we also cannot find any recent updates. The most recent ones uh, were made uh, uh, 20 days ago. And uh, I have to say that they are quite bullish uh, at about uh, $136 price target and $180. And uh, if you take a look uh, on the analyst consensus uh, price target, it is uh, still quite high at $137.43. But guys, keep in mind uh, that uh, this uh, company will disclose their earnings report uh, within uh, just uh, one week somewhere this time. So we don't have the exact date and we know that uh, Alibaba doesn't uh, disclose uh, this uh, date uh, in advance. And uh, that is why I think we will not see any updates uh, regarding its uh, price targets uh, from analysts uh, uh, till this uh, event happens. And uh, let me show you some uh, bearish signs regarding the Chinese economic economics in general. If we take a look uh, on this uh, chart, uh, it is a monthly actual use of foreign investments uh, in uh, RMB, year-on-year -year change. 
And as you can see, here is uh, the zero level. Uh, everything that is below this level uh, shows uh, that uh, there is a lack of investment and it is basically the removal of foreign capital from uh, the Chinese economy. And everything uh, that is above uh, the zero level, uh, it is a pure foreign investments in the Chinese economy. And so far, we are at lowest point uh, for the last almost 20 years. And uh, this uh, definitely shows uh, the negative sentiment for Chinese economy in general. On top of that, let me show you uh, uh, some uh, data regarding one of the main industry in Chinese economy. And uh, it is the construction activity since 2009. And here you can see the black dotted line is the current uh, cumulative floor space of real estate, uh, square meters in billions. And uh, purple dotted line is the median range. And uh, so far we are 60% below of uh, the median line. And this means uh, Chinese uh, real estate industry is under the pressure, huge pressure. And it is basically collapsing right now. We know the problem of Evergrande and other uh, major developers, uh, real estate developers in China. And uh, let me remind you that uh, uh, real estate uh, industry is the biggest industry, uh, is the biggest contributor to the uh, Chinese economy. And it costs uh, for now more than 60 trillion dollars. And uh, so far we have uh, these uh, quite uh, scary numbers and uh, this means uh, the entire Chinese economy is experiencing a huge problems. That is why we have to be very cautious uh, with any position on any Chinese stocks. And uh, that is why uh, let's continue with the technical analysis and I will show you all details in just several minutes. And before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends and family. So, uh, what should we expect next? Uh, as you can see, if I zoom into this uh, latest price section, you can see that uh, we have uh, several waves. And uh, uh, on the one hand, we might have uh, this is our first wave of retracement, retracement from uh, the top to the bottom. And uh, in this case, the retracement uh, should be to the upside. Then we have to see some kind of movement to the downside and the next leg that uh, might uh, uh, hit some higher targets. And if we'll have a confirmation of this movement uh, with the support of volume, definitely we might uh, make a conclusion that uh, this, uh, this point uh, might be the swim low for entire asset. And let me zoom out again and let me show you what uh, can we see on a slightly bigger picture. If I connect uh, these several tops, as you can see, we have a perfect range of resistance and uh, this asset already hit it and it has uh, some kind of reaction. And if this uh, range will be broken and uh, definitely if the next swing uh, high will be broken as well, uh, we might conclude that uh, this asset uh, is at least uh, in a medium term bull trend. But uh, on the other side, uh, uh, if uh, this asset uh, will bounce to the downside and break uh, this uh, bottom, the $79.10 uh, mark, we shouldn't, uh, let me zoom out uh, to the two hours time frame, we shouldn't uh, break uh, this bottom. It is about $78.5 mark. And if it breaks it, we might see much lower price action and longer consolidation phase. And guys, as for me, I think uh, we will see the retracement again to the downside. I don't think that we might break uh, this uh, range of uh, support in upcoming week. But when they disclose their earnings report at the end of this week or at the beginning of the next one, and if uh, the results uh, will be positive, definitely uh, we will see this breakout above this range. And if you are risky enough, uh, you definitely can accumulate your position uh, and you have to st set your stop loss orders uh, depending on your risk tolerance. And with this case, uh, you will be able to catch uh, the entire movement to the upside. Otherwise, just wait for more confirmation. First of all, the first confirmation will be the breakout above this range of resistance. Second one, the confirmation of volume. It should show us uh, that uh, this breakout uh, was with the support of uh, the higher volume. And uh, on the next retracement, uh, without the breakout below the previous swing low, 
we should see a trend reversal. And if it happens, definitely it will reduce uh, the upside potential, upside uh, profit, but uh, it will reduce the risks as well. And uh, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium packed. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just